want to take a little bit of time to show you what we're using. I've got a really light ultralight pole coming up into uh, just a double hook. I've got two dro a dropper loop. I've got a dropper loop with two salmon egg hooks on here. And you can see I'm cutting these little fish bait bites into these bite-sized pieces. So take one of these, you can cut about eight or ten baits off of it. And those baits are lasting a long time. So all you got to do is take your bait, grab your salmon egg hook, insert it through the bait. Make sure that your hook goes all the way through so that the point's sticking out. It can embed in the fish. So here's the hook right here. I want to make sure the tip of the hook is going out so it can embed in the fish. It's got a little bit of stuff on the hook, but that's okay. Just like that. And they'll grab it and get hooked. That's all you got to do. But these fish baits work really well. Someone on 360 Tuna recommended using them. I thought I'd give it a try. And they work fantastic. Hold on, I'll be right there. Wait, 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 wait. Like this, look. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Cause the freaking leaders get cut all the time. Are you drifting? Shark. We'll go over you, Charles. Don't worry about it. Just watch out. Watch out, guys. Hot rod coming down. Hot rod over. Coming back your way. <clears throat> leader. Ow. Long leader. Oh. What? A red. Check it out. You want to leader it? Fast like a king, or was yeah, it just? It ran, it ran real fast. It was a king after I got the hooks up, but it was acting like a snapper at first. I don't know exactly what the result of it. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around. Coming around, guys. Imran, put your snapper on, a free lot of snapper, man. That's, or a sardine. 
Hit the deck in, show you how to put them on. It's there. It's a weird fight, man. What's up, Matt? Fish number two, man. First one's a red snapper on a free line. It acts like it does. It does not run it like a kid, but you never know. You never know until it shows. Leader, color, snapper. There we go. Fish on. That looks like a king. It's running. Commercial rig. Florida Kingfish commercial rig. That's what they that's how they fishing. Charles the fight. Well it looks to be a king. It took off running. Right when he hooked up. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's see what it is. Yeah, Charles, King, sweet. That's what we're looking for. Is that a kingfish? Yeah, just leave that bale open and just let it float out. Nice King. Way to go, Charles. Oh, fish on. Spider. Yeah. As you can see, we're fishing now. We've been catching kingfish. The way the boat's set up, we got plenty of room across the back, plenty of room down the side. Some people have actually gone up on the bow as well. So it gives us an easy, easy way to catch or to fish 10 fishermen. And then we're fighting kings, which obviously run like crazy. And uh, we're gonna manage to get them in the boat. Hey, same thing. We're gonna go take a video of his fish. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know if it takes off. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. What'd you hook, man? What hooked you? You're, you're snagged, man. You hooked, that, you hooked that Titanic submarine. <laughs> All right, mix, mix hard out of here fighting this fish. And it's fighting back, Woo. fighting like a beast. He's moving it slowly but surely. Or it's moving him. Oh. Oh. I bet it was a shark the way I was fighting. But we'll never know. Back to it. Fish on. Come on, Craig, you got one. Damn it. I felt something. Oh, you cut you in half? Yeah, a little tip tap. Right when I was doing it. Dropping down for snapper or what? No. Oh, you just chilling? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, chilling. He got that, uh, he got the mangrove on that dripping hook. Yeah, that's awesome. Mangoes, good eats. We're next to our snapper spot though, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Once we're done here, we'll be done here. Cool. I know Matt will put his own fish. Y'all see? Oh crap. We watched him take it. Yeah, you guys threw all the... Oh! Drift number three for Kingfish. We caught a few every trip. Caught some, lost some. Caught a few big red snapper and Mick caught a really, really nice mango. This is our last Kingfish drip. After this, we're gonna go try and catch some snapper. Try to get our limit knocked out, or half our limit knocked out. And then it's off to the rigs for tuna. It's tuna time. Y'all 
Charles is hooked up again. Damn, Charles, you got the magic touch, man. You got one, Matt? Come on around. All right, him running. Jay, go over. Go over, Matt, so he can get past you. Raise your rod up over his head so he can walk underneath you if he needs to. Good job, Matt. Hey, remember, that's just a little one. Fish on, guys, fish on, fish on. Uh, hey, Imran, you wrapped around his rod. Uh, it feels like it. It's not running like a king. It's running straight down. Mangrove. Ooh, mangrove. I'll take that. That's awesome. Check it out. That'll work. High five, That's man. Nice. Sir, good. Good. Yeah. Nice. Jim Ryan, mangrove snapper. I'm making a little digging here. Nah, I caught a fruit on it. You'll get one of your non snapper guys. Yeah, sorry man, sleeping on the job here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hell no. Must have a shark or it ain't moving, is it? No. What do you recommend, man? Snapper slapper or a free line pin or a we'll pin fish? Tomorrow. For the snapper, you recommend a live pin fish or uh live fish. Okay. So I'm gonna drop in. I got a snapper slapper rigged up and I got a live pig. Did you ever find one? Snapper slapper? Uh one of the guys gave me one. Oh okay. I've got some somewhere. I have to Yeah, I was going to go to Bucky's, but they only had the three ounce. I like the five or the seven. Yeah. So the guy gave me a, fi a five ounce. Five is good. I mean, right now with this little current, we would probably be okay. Yeah. You got to show me how you rig them now. I heard you got a secret recipe. Greg's up on the bow fighting a super beast. Try to take his drag down and put more pressure on it. He's been fighting for a while. You might be able to see the line of GoPro, it's pretty far out, but you can't tell what it is. It's not making a big long run like a king, it's like more like a shark. And they will pick up three lines. Bo show. Yeah. Shark week's coming up. Fish on! Got a nice! I saw a jump, I was like, man, it's right where my rod is. Then my rod took off. Might be more with him, so get ready. Reel your, reel your bait in. Have it ready to go. If there's more than one mahi, you can drop it right next to him and catch him. I'm under you, Imran. Go over top of me, please. Thank you. Big one. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Look at that beautiful dolphin. Beautiful dolphin fish. Big dolphin. Oh, wow. Might have to go that way. Can you, can you move that gaff, guys? Come around. Come around. I think I'd go over your pole. Just hang tight. Oh, he doesn't have any friends, though. So I hope you have some friends. Yeah. So beautiful. Look at those pretty colors. He's right. He's past it. Ah! Thanks, 
Thanks, Matt. As always. Yeah, man. What a beautiful fish. We're going in the floor. Mahi, mahi. Took. So Matt's gonna show us how he rigs these uh, snapper slappers. So we got a five ounce snapper slapper. It's got two hooks on it. You got a whole screw on the top hook. Uh -huh. And a thread bearing. Starting. Or a start. Starting on the bottom hook. Uh, double that one. There it is. Okay. Helps the helps the sardine stay on and gives it a little better chance. It works better with a bigger squid. Okay. Like grabbed it and took off running. Oh, I drag. I just got a big one on the bottom. You got a good fish? I think so. I die because I wouldn't be able to fish, so try to give you all a chance at least. I just want to catch the elephant. That's about it. You and me both. You and me and everybody on this boat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I took out some drag. If I had to take the drag up a little bit, it should be better now.
like the boat, the way it's laid out. You got all the rod holders and stuff. It's nice. Yeah, there's some things I want to change about it, but nothing super major yet. Yeah. Always takes a little bit of time to get your boat the way you want it. One of the guys was saying, if there's a way to put like racks to put tackle boxes on or something. Do what? Put racks up so we can put like tackle boxes and stuff on it. Ooh, that's a nice fish there. All right, I appreciate you doing all the hard work. Biggest legal one I've caught, man. Half time, every time we were out, I'd be chasing a grouper to catch those big sales. How long is that box? It's bigger than the box. 30 inch fish. Oh man, I love it when I hit like that. Especially when I come back to take it. Yeah, we were on like 20 something days in a row, and I think it started at who knows how many times. Keep an eye on you, man. Imran, how you doing, man? Huh? Imran, how many you got? Eight. Eight? of the trip. You can see we had a double limit of red snapper. Caught a whole bunch of uh, got a whole bunch of tuna, black fin. And then over here you see the over here you see the uh, yellow fin that we caught. Behind the yellow fin we got a bunch of kings. And then after the kings you see we got some mangrove snapper, barrel fish, Mahi Mahi and tilefish. So that's basically the extent of the trip and one vermilion. What an awesome trip. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the fish back by number into the bins. Each person takes their bin, either put them in their coolers or Matt's got a couple of amazing guys here. They're gonna clean some fish for us. And uh, once that's done, we hit the road. See Matt's got all his helpers out here as well.